All right, in this series, we have gone over how to import, export your file management system. We've also gone through the, I don't know what else we've gone through. We've gone through selecting and grouping, and we've also gone through the clipboard and undo, redo, and duplicate portions of Lightburn. Now I wanna get into how to move objects around and also how to utilize the manipulation handles when you select an item. Let's check this out. Now, if you have an object on here already and you wanna resize that, there are different ways that you can do this. You can resize by the selectors up, up top here. Now this aspect ratio is, is locked in place right now, but if we unlock that and we want the width to be seven inches, and you can see that's depicted that we're working in inches over here, seven, I hit enter, and now we have a seven inch wide by 4.1282 inch tall oval. We can also rotate this item by over here on the rotate selection, just holding down up and that will rotate it however far we need to go and then I hit enter. I can also put 90 in there, hit enter, and that'll rotate that 90 degrees for me. Control Z to undo. We'll go back to a perfect circle. Now, if we want to utilize the sizing handles, I can grab onto that handle and pull. And like I showed before, that will make it bigger just by pulling out on that handle. And it will keep that aspect ratio locked. But that's pulling from the opposite corner of wherever the handle is. So if I'm utilizing the top right handle, it's pulling out and growing from the bottom left corner. Uh, same goes for if I grab the bottom right, the top left is that corner that it's gonna be uh, pulling and, and growing from. But if I wanna grow from the center, I can grab on to a resize handle, hit control, and then that will pull out with the aspect ratio locked from the center. Now this comes in really handy when you are trying to, uh, especially with circles or you're trying to make uh, frames or you wanna do an offset from the project or the piece that you're working on. So if I control D to duplicate that piece, grab the size handle, hit control and pull out. And now you can see from the center, I have offset from that original piece. So there's a bonus tip for you. All right, control Z to undo both of those. Now let's say I wanna make this bigger, but I don't want the aspect ratio locked. If I hold down shift from the bottom left, the aspect ratio will not be locked because I'm grabbing onto the top right. Control shift, it's gonna be from the center. So I'm growing it larger or smaller from the center, but the aspect ratio is not locked. And when utilizing uh, your sizes uh, in inches when you're selecting that, um, you can just toggle this aspect ratio on and off and that will lock in the aspect ratio or unlock it so it can just do whatever you want. Another feature here is uh, your percentage. So let's say that I wanna lock this aspect ratio. I want this circle to be 50% smaller than it is right now. I'm gonna type in 50 there, hit enter. Now it is 50% smaller than it originally was. Let's just delete that 10. So just for easy numbers, because I'm not a mathematician here, if we have a 10 by 10 width and height or a 10 inch diameter circle, go over here and with our aspect ratio locked, 50% of that size, it should be five by five. And there you have it, five by five. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and then if I, because all of these are toggles, if I want to toggle millimeters, you can see my entire scale for my laser, where everything is, has changed to millimeters. Also the width and height and where my X and Y positions are. Uh, all of those are millimeter referenced now. And I work in inches, so. All right, so rotation is handled by the curved handles up here on the top. And when you hover over them, you can see that your pointer now becomes that curved handle. Uh, gonna be very hard to see with the circle, but if we grab this handle and make this into an oval. If you grab this, you can rotate this all the way around clockwise or counterclockwise. And you can see in the bottom part of the screen, the degrees that is being rotated. Now, if you hold down shift while you're doing this, it's gonna be rotating in 15 degree increments. 
and you can see I'm dragging and it's not moving until it hits that 15 degree mark. Now I let go and it's free floating. If I want to go in five degree increments, I'm going to hold down control and now it's going to be locked into those five degree increments all the way around. And you can see on the bottom too, it's going 195, 90 degrees. Here it's free floating and you get those 90 or 87.6 degrees right now. Shift 90, 75, 60, 45, 30, so on and so forth. Now control Z to get us back onto this even plane here. Let's say I want to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. I'm going to hit the period button and that's going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise for me automatically. If I want to go counterclockwise, I'm going to hit the comma and that's going to bring me back uh, to where I started or just rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. 45 degree increments, hold down shift period. And now we're going in 45 degree increments and then shift comma will go counterclockwise in 45 degree increments. Holding down control period is going in 15 degree increments clockwise, control comma 15 degrees counterclockwise, and then control shift period, five degree increments clockwise. And I'm sure you get it at this point, control shift comma, five degree rotation counterclockwise. Now you're able to find these rotate buttons or at least the 90 degree rotate buttons in your arrange. And there they are right there. You can also toggle these handles on and off. Down here in the bottom left, you have shear, which we'll get to in a second, rotate that you can toggle on and off, size, and then move. Now your shear buttons, which are these two right here, we'll toggle these other ones off so we can see exactly which ones we're talking about. These two are your shear buttons, and these allow you to manipulate or skew, really stretch what uh, this shape is doing. So if we rotate it some more and then skew some more, you can really get some twisting and turning of your project or of your parts and pieces. All right, hopefully that helped you, uh, helped explain a little bit more about the control handles and how to utilize and work around in Lightburn. If you found this uh, helpful, you wouldn't mind hitting like, subscribe. If you think somebody else will find it helpful, uh, shoot them a, a text with this video so they can watch it as well. Uh, if I missed something, hit me up in the comments. Uh, and I guess we'll check you guys on the next one. Thank you.